spotlight on Five Best Capital. The company's March quarter profits witnessed strong growth despite its loss widening to a little less than seven crores. Let's, uh, you know, we have with us right now Saloni Danuka who will be joining us and of course the Chief Executive Officer of the company, Prakash Gagdani, to also take us through the quarter and all that we can expect in the quarters to come. So, our well, Saloni, we have you with us. Thanks for joining us. And Prakash, thanks for joining us. Thank in you. Thanks for having me here. Yeah, uh, so Prakash, you know, I'm just going to start off with uh, well, uh, a basic question about how you assess this quarter's earnings and uh, well, the possible reason behind the, the widening of the, the loss figure. So uh, the quarter has been good. Uh, so you see, we like around 42 percent growth we have registered over the previous quarter. So overall, uh, the revenues have been strong and the our acquisition uh, engine is going good. So uh, on an overall basis, the, the the growth looks to be stronger and the same looks to continue for the next quarter. As far as the cost is concerned, if you see that our revenues have grown around 42 percent, but uh, uh, our cost has not gone up more than 10, 15 percent. Mm. So uh, though it's, it's we are in a growing phase, and uh, you know that that leads to uh, building up the cost, but. On an overall basis, uh, the cost per customer or the uh, cost per unit is going down quarter on quarter. Though in terms of absolute numbers, they see a marginal rise, but uh, on a per unit basis, obviously that is uh, reducing. Okay. Uh, so despite a sharp run up in your top line, as he mentioned, uh, net losses have actually widened to 25 crore for FY18, for the financial year 2018. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what has been the reason for that and when will you see a turnaround uh, in that bottom line basically? Uh, see, Salary, what happens is that we, we, we're just a two-year-old company, so uh, and uh, you know markets are dynamic. So there's a lot of uh, cost which goes into building a business, and especially you know we into digital space and a new entrant. So uh, there are a lot of uh, things that we have to build on the technology, on the marketing front, and building up the team. So that is that is a, this is the time that we are building up our uh, you know infrastructure, we're building up our technology and people, and also you know uh, spending on the marketing activity. So that has gone into uh, uh, the cost that you see, uh, which is widened, uh, you know, like to a, a loss of 25 crores. But I think this is this is a, a building block. Uh, so from here on, what you see is not exponential rise in uh, in terms of the cost, but obviously, uh, uh, you know, good growth in terms of the top line. And uh, just to answer your question, in terms of where that will, so it, it's, it's difficult to say that where that will break even because you know, in digital space, uh, what we are actually looking for is how do we get more and more customers in a shorter possible time. So. Uh, so then that that takes a toll on the uh, profitability. Prakash, uh, speaking of customer acquisition, uh, you know this space is not devoid of competition, and uh, we know of several other players also coming in, putting as much, uh, if not more, in terms of investments. Uh, how are you dealing with this, and how are you differentiating yourself with respect to business? Uh, I, I agree with you that there is a competition, but uh, uh, if, you, if you see our growth, you know, I was here uh, last time when our company got, got listed in November and we were at what, around 25, 26,000 customer base. We are already, as we speak, we are at 75,000 customer base, so we have tripled in last uh, five months. So uh, the growth in terms of customer acquisition has been, uh, has been good. And uh, with the with the indicators that I get, that we are we are catching up in terms of uh, the numbers as compared to all the big players. Right. So though there is a competition, uh, we 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 are we are growing past our competitors, and uh, we're coming in the uh, the top 10 to 15 uh, players in the league. So it means that somewhere uh, people are liking our offering. Uh, uh, you know, we just charge uh, 10 rupees uh, per uh, order, which is the the lowest in the industry. And it's almost 98, 99% cheaper. So that's the value proposition plus the overall experience of uh, uh, our mobile app and uh, overall trading has been very good. So I think that that uh, gives us a confidence that people are liking our uh, product and they're lapping it to it. Would you suggest that the market is uh, large enough and that it is not as saturated enough for all you and your competitors to grow? I think, uh, I mean, though we, uh, is, 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 that this has been spoken uh, a lot that our DMAT penetration is very less and there's mm. a lot of room. But if you actually see in last, you know, 12, 18 months, uh, the kind of revolution which has happened in terms of internet penetration, people uh, going on the data, the cost which is going down, that has seen a huge 
uh, a demand uh, for people getting into financial products and that we are seeing right. so we have uh, you know we are having uh, almost like a more than two and a half three crore demand accounts uh, you know uh, already open and almost a 15 to 16% uh, growth in the DMAT accounts. That's healthy. So, and I don't see a reason why it would slow down. So, I think uh, we are at the, uh, you know, at, at the bottom of the pyramid and there's a long way to go. Right. Uh, since you're working in a very highly competitive industry, uh, how do you plan to increase your market share? I believe it is somewhere around 1% of the daily cash uh, turnover on the BSE and NSC. So, what kind of strategy are you working with? Uh, see, we, we are an online player, so we are not into advisory. Uh, uh, so, per se, we don't uh, uh, control or we don't uh, recommend people to trade more. But if, if you've seen our uh, turnover, we already clock around uh, 6,000 crore of turnover on a daily basis. And on a cash market, we are at 1% uh, market share. So, that has been growing. We were like, what, 3,000 uh, crore of turnover just for a few months back. And it's, it's 100% growth. So, uh, so, overall, our turnover and our uh, retail participation has been growing, and that's uh, helping us uh, increase our uh, turnover. Right. And uh, what about business beyond equities? How do you see insurance or uh, for that matter mutual fund as a product? Do you see some kind of traction there? Our mutual fund business for us uh, has be, uh, is our key business and uh, we feel that the, and we encourage people more to go for mutual funds uh, and a sustained way of investing. So, uh, so there we have seen a good traction. Our, our, our book has grown almost 100% in the last a uh, quarter in terms of SIPs are concerned. We are already at uh, 35, 36 crores of AUM, which is which is lo less, but the growth has been good. So mutual fund as a business is something that we are really looking for, and we are really investing a lot in terms of uh, advising our customers, robo advisory. Uh, so that's something that uh, we look forward for. Apart from uh, mutual funds, we are now adding a lot of other products, you know, like uh, health insurance, life insurance, and other insurance products. Uh, we are also offering uh, personal loans to our customer. So basically, any product which can be digitally fulfilled uh, is something that we are looking for and we're working on. All right. In terms of insurance that you mentioned, uh, have you filed uh, with IRDA that you will be launching these products and what is the timeline that you're working with? So we are, uh, we've, we've, we are applying for a, a corporate agency and uh, you know, going with IRDA right now. So we are in the process of that. Once we're there, then we'll soon start all our insurance. And uh, my last question to you will be what kind of ta customer target, uh, customer acquisition target are you working for FI19? Since you said uh, it is currently around 75,000 for right. as of now. So what kind of target are you working with? Uh, see the targets, so uh, market surprises are with uh, us with the targets. So, you know, we, we, we plan to do around uh, 50,000 customers this year and we are, uh, we've over passed that by almost 50%. So this year also we look for uh, getting around 150,000 to 200,000 customers more. But I'm think, I think uh, you know, markets and people will definitely surprise us. Right, but uh, you know, uh, and I'm, I'm not asking you for a guidance or, or anything <laughs> else, else, but uh, you, can, us, can you give us an idea of the kind of numbers that you're working with right now with respect to at least the top line? Uh, it would be difficult actually for me to give numbers because it all depends on you know uh, how the market behaves. For example, last quarter has been not that great on the markets. You know, right. markets are down, so it, it is difficult to predict uh, uh, the, the numbers per se. But I think the growth would be uh, healthy looking at the customer acquisition uh, that we are doing. Okay. Well, fair enough, Prakash. Uh, thanks for joining us and giving us an update on the quarter's uh, earnings. My pleasure.